What's up, Horizon Kids? Hello. We're back with another we Sunday vlog. Hope you guys are having an amazing summer so far. We sure are. Yeah, we're getting ready for summer. Now I it's know. getting hot outside. Who enjoyed the hot 30 degree weather this week? So nice. So Beach good. days, lake days, just. Water days. All the all outside, outside time. time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that that was wasn't planned. Not scripted. Oh. Anyways, it is. Yep. We're pretty excited. Another another milestone for yes. the vlogs. And I don't week. think we can go wrong. Right? No, we really can't go wrong. So today, welcome to vlog number, number 20. 20. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's the air horn. Yeah. So welcome to the vlog. Don't forget yep. to hit like. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Yep, We're still on that journey to 100 subs. We're getting there. It's getting exciting. We're close. I was kind of hoping we'd have 100 s subscribers by our 20th vlog, because that would be some be really cool. nice whole numbers to celebrate. Oh. Um, but not quite there yet, so come on, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We've got some fun things to talk about this, this time on the vlog. You might have noticed some of the fun decor behind us. Um, that is just the tiniest little portion of what you can expect starting this week at our summer party yes. mini. Woo! First one begins on Tuesday. That's so soon. If you are 9 to 12, you need to come this week yep. to summer party mini. It's okay. going to be a lot of fun. We've got three days of fun, right Carly? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to be so good. And you know what? Who better to tell us about the fun we're gonna have than our amazing summer interns? Come on Woo! up, David and Stacia. Whoa! Don't do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's so excited. Let me just interrupt you guys and yell stuff where you're going. I won't. I'm punching it up. Oh, so he's hard. Hard. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> After we were so kindly interrupted by the wonderful Pastor yeah. Daniel. Uh, we have David and Stacia, the masterminds Woo! behind the fun that you're sure to have. That's <laughs> oh no. <laughs> don't mess up. Don't wake up, Don't break the thing out. It's been like a whole lot of on the roof. This summer, at our summer party minis. Yes. Starting this week for the cool. 9 to 12 year olds. Um, David and Stacia, why don't you guys tell us a little bit of the fun that we can expect? Okay, it's gonna be so much fun. I know you're sitting at home like, oh, but is it gonna be as much fun? It's called Summer Party Mini. Maybe mini, but the fun is gonna be mega. Whoa. We're gonna have a water day. We're gonna be slipping and sliding everywhere. It's gonna be so much fun. We got, as you guys can see, pool noodles, bunch of them. Nice. And it's gonna be a great time. That's like only a third of the amount of pool oh, yeah. noodles we're gonna have by the end of this. So how many pool noodles are we gonna have? At least 150. What? What? What are we gonna do with 150 pool noodles? You'll have to wait. So excited for the summer party minis. So make sure you guys get registered. Get registered. There are only 40 spots available at each camp. So you got to get registered and you got to do it fast before spots fill up yep. and you run out of chances. Yeah. yeah. So this week is 9 to 12s yep. and then next week, the week after, is 7 to 9s. Yeah. And then the week after is 5 to 7. These next three weeks are at our Surrey campus and stay tuned for more info about our Princeton campus fun that we are going to have for you guys. So good. So good. Well, I think this brings us to the next segment, which is the Weird, Weird Holiday. Holiday. Jacob, did you know that on <laughs> July 28th, um, it is National Milk Chocolate Day? I did not know, but mm. I haven't known any of these holidays. No, so far. not many too, but Google knows and therefore- Is your head Google? Therefore I know. <laughs> National Milk Chocolate Day. Now, That's pretty good. not National Chocolate Day, because I think that is something entirely different. But National Milk Chocolate Day. Well, I have to say, milk chocolate is the second best sort of chocolate. Ooh. What's the best Ooh. sort of chocolate? White chocolate. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm. Uh. It's not real chocolate. <laughs> some differing opinions here. Oh, not real chocolate. Throwing some shade. 
I agree with that. How rude. Not everyone agrees with that, but I think most people can agree that milk chocolate is the second so best. Good. Yes. Awesome. So, it's so good. good. So good. I mean, where would we be in the world if they never added milk to chocolate? Wow. All we would have would be dark chocolate and not everyone likes dark chocolate. Yeah. Some do. Do you guys like dark chocolate? I like dark chocolate. Stacia oh. does. David doesn't. Jacob. What type of chocolate do you like? Yeah. Milk chocolate. Oh. <laughs> Cook your hand, he's, guys, he's a purist. Mm -hmm. I guess that would be dark chocolate. Well, yeah. A purist. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so we're going to celebrate National Milk Chocolate Day and first we are going to share with you guys what our favorite milk chocolate bar is. So, yeah. Jacob, what's Mine your favorite chocolate bar? Mine is definitely just good old, oh I was going to say dairy milk but mm -hmm. I just remember that I just said white chocolate is my favorite. You did! <laughs> so it's actually... But it's National Milk Chocolate Day. Oh yeah, so yeah. I'll choose my milk chocolate yeah. one. Um, it's just got to be Cadbury's dairy milk. It's Ooh. just the best. Mm -hmm. Just plain. Just plain. plain. None of that weird fruit and nut stuff. <laughs> Ugh. It's taking away that chocolate. It is. It's just taking chocolate space away. Yeah. From me, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. What about you? David, yeah. what about you? What's Kit Kats. Your... Kit Kats. Kit Kats. Always. Take a break. Take a break. Mm -hmm. Take a break. Or Kit Kat. <laughs> I don't know if this is a chocolate bar, but uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, or Reese's, so depending good. on who you are. So I've never heard anyone say Reese's. I've never no. said her name. I say that either. <laughs> either. <laughs> oh, I love Reese's. Yeah. That's Reese's. a good one. That's a very good one. What are you calling? I uh, I asked this question and then I didn't actually think of my own answer. Well, but I think rookie error. It is a rookie error for sure. It is. But I mean, in this moment, thinking about chocolate, I think I would say my favorite is. Um, I mean, sometimes it would be Reese, but since Stacia just said that, I will say M and M's because I love M and M's. I could eat a lot of those and have. So speaking of M and M's, yeah, very similar to M and M's, we have Smarties. Now our friends David and Stacia are going to have a little competition to celebrate National Milk Chocolate Day yep. on July 28th. So. They will each get a mini pack of Smarties and they have to take each individual Smartie, throw it up in the air and try and catch it in their mouth. And the winner is the one who catches the most Smarties in their is mouth. Is that going to be hard enough? I think so. Okay, it's the, uh, okay. for me. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't want this to go too easy. Okay. <laughs> if it's too easy, we Do can just add Do they have to keep them all in their mouth? Or are they allowed to like... Chew and swallow once it once one lands in there. Yeah, I mean, I guess they, they can do what they want, but maybe speed is also of the essence. Yeah. Okay. So you also so you want, one minute? You want to okay. catch the most, and you want to catch the most the fastest. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> all right. So uh, you you keep an eye on David, see how many he catches. Okay. I'll keep an eye on Stacia. And then... Okay. Okay. You ready? So eight, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Go! And you can hear that pumping music in the background. I'm opening the box. <laughs> Not in your hand, David. Oh, no. it's his teeth. That was close. Oh! Oh! Why oh. did David do the thing? Oh, gosh. Oh! oh. 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 Come on, David. Oh. Two. Oh, three. We got four. Keep thinking that hair color and then I can see. Oh, that's oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. 24 seconds. 23. Nice. Five. Six. Four. Oh, man. She's going down the floor. She's taking the floor one. Oh, that was close. Oh, Are you guys sure who, you know which, who they came out of? Five. Oh, Where is this one? Oh, hold on. Seven. Oh, my gosh. No, Eight. two, oh, one, baby. I definitely use a spider bug. <laughs> Ow. Wow. Destruction. Stacia <laughs> plays hard. I think I'd probably put, I'd probably guess Stacia as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's okay. okay. Stacia wins with eight Smarties. She even, they even went and started picking them off the floor. So. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing. Wow. Pretty, uh, pretty dedicated. These are your summer interns, yeah. Rising Kids. So now you know how committed yep. and dedicated and passionate they yep. are. So good. About winning. Yep. David, you lost. You can leave now. Stacey, you can stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Well, what are we what are we going to do next? Next, we've got birthday shout outs. Wow. The youngest is one oh, and the oldest is, is 27. 27. Man, you kids are getting old. So. <laughs> okay. All right. First birthday that we have to celebrate is Zoe, Zoe turning one. Man, she's really grown since that photo. <laughs> Zoe, that was your dad. Yeah. He's very excited He's for so you. He's so proud. Yeah. Zoe's turning one. One of our younger Horizon kids. So exciting. Awesome. Next we have Elijah, Elijah. turning four. Happy birthday, Elijah. Happy birthday, Elijah. Have you been a great day? Okay, next up. Next up, turning five, we have Dancing Water. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a great week. Yep. Next so up, good. we have Ashley turning seven. Seven. Happy birthday, Ashley. And awesome. next one. Next we have Shamira turning nine. Happy birthday, Shamira! I I often remember your birthday because it often lands somewhere around our summer parties, Whoa. and it's often during that that time. So happy birthday, Shamira! We can't wait to see you at we the summer party mini. And then we've got an amazing junior leader turning twelve. Happy birthday to. Tiran! Happy birthday, Tiran. Awesome. And another 12 year old, we have Aiden. Aiden! Happy birthday, Aiden. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great week. All right, okay. and then we've got two amazing Horizon Kids leaders to celebrate wow. as well. So, today on this actual Sunday, Whoa. we are celebrating the birthday of the amazing Hannah! Hannah! Woo! <laughs> well, Hannah is also one of the interns. She is the youth intern this yes. summer. And so she is working here in the office with us. It's been super fun. Yep, super fun. And Hannah is one of our amazing Horizon Kids leaders. Worship leader. Worship yep. leader. She's been in the nursery and she just does everything and she's so great at it. We love her. So good. And the other leader that we're excited to celebrate. Yep is old man Jonathan. Old man Johnny boy. <laughs> you may remember him from his Minecraft escapades. Uh, yes. He is not, still not improved, but no, he you have not. improved with age. You are now 27. <laughs> Happy birthday, so, Jonathan. Happy birthday to Jonathan. You will probably be hearing from him um, soon. on the vlog yeah. at some point soon. We, we always love having Jonathan. Oh, is he Jonathan coming to the summer party? On One of the team. summer parties? He might, he might stop by. Well, if you see him, Tell them to come to summer party. Yeah, and tell them happy birthday. Anyway, if you know any of these people, know where they live or have their phone numbers, give them a call, yep. send them a card. That's make a really nice feel, thing to do at the moment. Make them so. feel really special on their birthday and so celebrate with them. Awesome. Well, Carly, do you want to tell us what we're doing this month still? I think this is the last one. This is. Of Focus, right? It is, yeah. It's the last Sunday of July and our last Sunday talking about this theme, which is Focus. Take a closer look. Yeah. And, and so all month we're talking about faith, mm -hmm. which is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Yeah. And we've been talking about that for all of June and July because yeah. faith is such a big topic in the Bible. And so big. There's so much to say about it and so much to learn about it. You just can't stop learning no, more it's awesome. about what it means to have faith. And so this month we have been looking at the book or the verse in the Bible in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and it says God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ your salvation doesn't come from anything you do it is God's gift awesome which is so good so good and our bottom line this week is following Jesus will turn out greater than you can imagine so good and after we watch our Bible story video we are going to hear from one of our awesome summer interns david and he's going to talk to you a bit more about all of this it's okay. hello everybody i'm erica and welcome to my steam lab i've got something extra special to show you today and i have faith that it will be my coolest discovery yet 
Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And what I can see is this awesome telescope! Ooh. Everything! Wow. I am super excited for what we'll be able to see through this telescope. Stars, planets, galaxies, satellites, space exploring cats. Well, maybe not the cats. There's a skylight in the lab. So I can see all the cool stuff from right here. I just have to finish focusing the telescope. Okay, while I focus on the telescope, why don't you guys focus on the awesome Bible story today? <laughs> it's out of this world. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 3 to 5. John squinted against the blinding glare of the afternoon sun. Just a short distance away, frothy waves crashed against craggy rocks and foamed over white sands. This island of Patmos was isolated and rocky, but the view was stunning, surrounded by brilliant blue sea and sky. Most beautiful prison on earth. Though he wasn't chained up, John was in jail. The Roman emperor who was unable to make John stop preaching about Jesus had exiled him to this prison colony where many prisoners worked in the mines. There was no way off the island. So John was now very old, living out his final years on the island of Patmos with a handful of criminals. I can share the story of Jesus with them too. John settled into a shallow cave on shore to take shelter from the heat. He closed his eyes. I've seen so much. John had lived longer than any of the other of Jesus' disciples. He had watched the early church grow while the story of Jesus spread fast and bright as wildfire. But he had also seen terrible things happen to those who believed in Jesus. In fact, many people died just for talking about Jesus. We saw everything Jesus did. We can believe he'll be with us forever, even through death. Despite the threats and persecution, more people than ever were following Jesus. God's story was traveling from one end of the world to the other, just like Jesus said it would. I wonder why I've been allowed to live this long. In the cool of the shallow cave, John began to relax. His head was nodding. Until a voice like a trumpet sounded behind him. Write on a scroll what you see. John blinked. Was he awake or dreaming? Wait, what? Uh, I don't see. Oh. Turning, John saw Jesus himself, his eyes blazing with intensity. Do not be afraid. I was dead. But look, I am alive forever and ever. Write about what is happening now and what will happen later. John's mind worked quickly, trying to grasp what was happening. It appeared that God was trying to show him a picture of things that would happen in the future, and he wanted John to write them down and show them to others so that they could believe too. Yes, Lord. Do you mind if I grab a scroll? Oh, and, and a quill. I, I don't want to forget anything. John watched, amazed, as God showed him many things that were coming. Some were wonderful, some were terrible, some were mysterious. After the vision ended, John began a letter to several of the new churches. I, John, am writing this. I am a friend who suffers like you. As members of Jesus' royal family, we can put up with anything that happens to us. John explained every strange and amazing thing he had seen. Some of it made him tremble. 
Others wouldn't make sense until the right time had come. But the last part of his vision, that's the very best part. I can't wait to write all about it. God had shown John how the whole story will turn out for everyone who believes in Jesus. Carefully, he recalled all the incredible things he'd seen. How am I going to do this? I mean, there's no way that words can capture it, but I have to try. It's just a picture until they get to see for themselves how real and breathtaking it will be. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. John remembered the words that Jesus had spoken while he was on earth, right before his death and return to life. There are many rooms in my father's house. I am going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and do that, I will come back and I will take you to be with me. Then you will also be where I am. That's what I saw. It's the special place Jesus is making for each one of us. A place where we will never be apart from God. John recalled the next scene from his vision. He saw a great white throne. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, now God makes his home with people. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. John paused as he stared in wonder at what he had just written down. All of these terrible things we've seen, people sick and hurt, being mocked and put in jail, all of it will be made right. Something else stood out to John. Light, there was so much light. The city does not need the sun or moon to shine on it. God's glory is its light. And the lamb, Jesus, is its lamp. Its gates will never be shut because there will be no night there. The place John had seen wasn't just filled with light. It was beautiful too. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life. It was as clear as crystal. It flowed from the throne of God and of the Lamb. It flowed down the middle of the city's main street. On each side of the river stood the tree of life. Its fruit was ripe every month. The leaves of the tree bring healing to the nations. Once again, John lifted his pen from the page. It just seemed impossible to share the real glory of what he had seen with tiny black marks on a scroll. He tried again. God's servants will serve him. They will see his face. John felt himself grinning. He could say one thing for sure, no one would be bored. He and every other person who believes in God would finally be able to live out what they were created to do fully and completely with no sin or frustration or weariness to get in the way. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. Now, John didn't know exactly when the things God had shown him would take place, and neither do we. But from what we've seen and heard, we know one thing for certain. In the end, God will make everything right for those who trust in him. Would you look at that? That doesn't look like cheese at all! <laughs> I love getting a glimpse of things I'm not used to seeing every day. Like today's story. We got a little glimpse of what the future could be like. When Jesus was on earth, he said if anyone puts their faith in him, they'll have a relationship with God that will last forever. That means we can be a part of God's big story. A story that never ends. Now. I don't know what you imagine when you think about heaven. Maybe it's clouds and harps and angels flying around. Maybe what you imagine is exactly right. Though there's a lot about the future we don't understand, it's exciting to think about the things we do know. When we believe in Jesus, we can look forward to a time when there will be no more pain, no more sadness, everything will be made new. We will be fully alive with God in a way we can't even imagine. That's the one thing to remember today. Following Jesus will turn out greater than you can imagine. Having a glimpse at the future can give us hope here in the present. When we're worried about something or someone, or when we're sad or in pain, we know the bad things won't last forever. 
God has a future plan for us that we can truly focus on. Speaking of, let's see what this thing is focused on now. <gasps> I don't believe it! Space cats! Oh. <laughs> gotcha! Thanks for hanging with me in the lab and keep focusing on the important stuff. See you later. What's up guys, it's David again. I hope you're doing really well. Um, thanks for joining me on this fine Sunday morning. So the bottom line for this week is, following Jesus will turn out greater than you can imagine. Now I want you to think of the most freeze-worthy moments in your life. Um, maybe it was a trip to Disneyland, or maybe you were camping. How about summer party last year? I mean, who could forget that? Whatever the moment is, those are unforgettable moments in life. And we would obviously love to just sit there and, and enjoy those moments and just stop time. But, I mean, wouldn't it be pretty epic? I mean, how cool would it be to just freeze time? But here's the thing, life isn't perfect. So we, we wish we could freeze time because life isn't perfect, because there are those ugly moments. Um, we wish we didn't have to be there. But what happens when we do have those forgettable moments? I know for me, I like to just sit there sometimes. Sometimes I like to just not do anything about it because it's easier that way and it feels good. So what happens when we're in terrible situations? Where do we turn when we are faced with these situations? Even now, we're all in this weird, terrible situation, kind of odd. Some of us enjoy it. I mean, some of us enjoy staying at home all the time. Some of us enjoy staying locked in, but I know after a while it gets exhausting. But it's important to remember that we're not the first people to go through this or the last people. Like John in the Bible, we all have these moments where we ask, is all of this really worth it? But in those moments, it can be very easy to just give up, to just sit there where we're at. I mean, John could have just sat there. He was in exile. He had all the right to do that. But see, John prayed and asked God and God answered him because God is so good that way. Not only did God answer John, he actually showed up and showed him, which is absolutely mind blowing. So John was given this roller coaster of a ride and through all the good and the bad and all the in-betweens. But here's the thing that what happens at the end of it. It's like a roller coaster ride. There are those moments where you're like, what's going on? You're freaking out. But at the end of it, you're, you're excited, you're happy. I mean, there's hope. And when we accept Jesus into our lives, we were given this hope. But here's the thing, God promises that in the end of all of, the, all of this, there is hope. There is all the ugly things, all the bad things in the world will be done, will be washed away. And through John, we get a little peek into what the, what's in store for us. God does not leave us alone, and that is his promise. So here's the truth. You can trust God no matter what. He is just that good. So my question for you is this. What do you think heaven will be like? I mean, even though we read about John, what John saw, it's still hard to exactly say. There's still a lot we don't know, but we can focus on what we do know. For those who believe in Jesus, there will be life that lasts forever the most freeze-worthy moments with no more pain or sorrow or death, where we will fully be alive with God in a way that we can only imagine now. So before you head out, let's pray. Thank God for sending us Jesus and making all things new. So Jesus, thank you so much for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for your love, um, for, sending, for being, dying on the cross for us, for rising again, for giving us hope even when we don't feel like there is. God, I pray that we would um, just be able to enjoy you, enjoy your presence. I pray that you'd bless my friend's weeks and their year, and I pray for moments, great moments of, um, of, that you would want to freeze and enjoy. I pray that even through those moments where we don't want to enjoy them, where we want to just pass them by, that we would find hope in you. In your name we pray, 
Amen. Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. And there. Okay. Did we miss it? Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold All on, right. I'll, I'll extend the time here a little bit. Thank you. All right, ready, set, right. go. Say cheese. I'm already smiling. Cheese. Okay, fine. Cheese. How long did you set the time? Oh, sorry. All right, one more time, one more time. Come on, we, we're, we're gonna get this. Okay. I'm setting it for seven and a half okay. seconds. Okay, here we go. Last time. Boom. Let's do it. Here we go. This is the keeper. Yep. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit you. I know. I know. You're going fast. Can we just keep doing this? Yeah, we, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see if it's Do took. it. I don't think it took. Well, no, I think it might have taken. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. We could just one more? No, I'm done. On. Thank you. Goodbye. Come on. I don't want. <coughs> Come on. All right. Okay. Fine. Go. Come on. Okay, great. I couldn't hold on to the grip. I, I'll do it one more time, all right? But this is ridiculous. There's so many pictures of us. We don't need any more pictures. You the world needs more pictures of us, Brandon. I don't think it does. Yes, it does. Fine. You know what? Take your picture. Just take All right, yourself. fine. Not... I can't take it like that when you're facing the di wrong direction. You're supposed to be facing that way. Look. Oh, fine. Be that way. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So and So Show. Oh, we love to tell you jokes that make you laugh. Well, For I mean, we example. do more than tell you jokes. No, no, no. What do you call a frozen dog? I don't know. A popsicle. <laughs> you I do. But, John, seriously. What do you don't... call an alligator in a vest? A crocodile. No! What? No, an investigator? Oh, no, I get it. That's funny. That's a really yeah, good one. Thank you. No, but this show isn't all about telling people jokes. Well, I know we, that. I know that. I know that. I just wanted to I just wanted to practice a little for my stand-up comedy act on Tuesday. What? Where is it? Well, at the one and only Cafe for Comedy Coffee and Curly Fries, stand up every Tuesday mid-morning. Oh. Haven't you ever heard of the Curly Fried Comedy and Coffee to go? Uh-uh. Laughs and lattes. Mm -hmm. mm, muffins over monologues? Have you, have you seriously never heard of any of these events? Uh, no, but it sounds pretty cool. P pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool? What is <laughs> this is the event of the week for upcoming comedians. It's like the place to be. It's not just pretty cool. It's basically the most epically cool thing that's ever happened to a Tuesday since tacos. Oh, well, awesome. Good for you. Well, thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm sorry I'm so uptight. It's just that I'm, I'm wondering if... Even though it's a super awesome opportunity, if it would be even more awesome if I didn't do it. What? It's just, I, 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 I don't know how it's gonna go. What if they don't like me? What if they don't laugh? Brandon, oh, no ha ha. Yeah, okay, well you never know how something's gonna turn out before you do it, you know? Well, when I eat a grilled cheese sandwich, Brandon, I know it's gonna feel like a thousand tiny dairy miracles melting in my mouth all at once mm, every time. Okay. I know that for sure. Yeah. But with stand-up comedy, I don't know. Oh well, yeah, well that's, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst? Mm-hmm. Where's your drink? Try it this way. So paper bags, am I right? And everyone thought these puppies would never be in style. Oh, muffin, anyone? They're gluten full. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No one's even here. Oh, that's the worst you can imagine? That doesn't seem that bad. Whatever. All right, now answer this question. Think about it. What's the best that could happen? The best? Best is over here. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. Oh wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. Hey, 
Who here hates traffic? Yeah, I know. I know. It's like, move your cars faster on the road. I got places to be. <laughs> oh, hey, but what about paying taxes? Ooh, right? Right? Could those forms be any more complicated? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, if one more ad interrupts my streaming video, I'm going to be like, <laughs> oh, stop it. Hey, stop it. Thank you. My time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Especially you. <laughs> Thank you. I think that seems pretty doable. Maybe. No, I mean, maybe even if they don't throw flowers and even if you don't wear a suit, which I must admit is the least likely thing of your scenario, hmm. it could still be good. Good. Good is like an insult to an artist. It, it, it either has to be great or it's worthless. Okay, yeah, but you're never gonna be great if you don't start somewhere. So you're saying I should do it? Look, I'm saying you never know how it's gonna turn out. So don't let your fear of the unknown be what stops you. Okay. 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 You're right. I'm gonna do it. All right. You've inspired me. Ah, that's awesome. Uh, can I practice my jokes on you right now? Ah, uh, that's Bible story time with Kellen. Well, hello. To my favorite co-host. Hey. What you got for us today, Kellen? Today, we're going all the way to the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. After all the history in the Old Testament, and after Jesus came and rescued people and made a way for us to have a relationship with God again, you can read Revelation to find the answer to this next question. What happens next? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Well, you'll have to wait, because first, we're going to dive into some viewer mail. Wait, is viewer mail a thing? Is actual mail still a thing? Of course. I asked our viewers to describe the best place they could imagine, and these are their responses. Do you guys mind helping me read a few? Sure. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good throw. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Oh, me. Uh, this letter is from Ariel in Broken Bow, Nebraska. Nice. There you go. Uh, dear Kellen, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Ariel. Yeah. The best place I can imagine would have lots of flowers because I love flowers. <laughs> uh -huh. I can almost picture it. Uh, when I was a little girl, there was this beautiful field of wildflowers down the street from our house. There were flowers of every color, blues and purples and yellows of every shade. Sometimes I would just lie down in the field and watch the clouds move in the sky for hours until my dad finally had to call me home for dinner. The best place I can imagine would have flowers as far as the eye could see, and they'd grow all year round. That's a place I'd like to see someday. Hmm. Wow. Paints a pretty picture, doesn't it? Sure does. Um, let's hear your letter. Oh, you bet. This one is from Javier from Claremore, Oklahoma. Hi, Javier. Let's see. Dear Kellen, I'm glad you asked about my imagination because imagining is what I do best. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing I can imagine is an amusement park with the tallest rides in the world. I'm talking about a roller coaster as high as the sky. Can you imagine riding a roller coaster through the clouds and right by the sun? And it wouldn't be scary because the clouds are actually cotton candy. So you could scoop some up to eat every time you rode by. And the best part of Javier's world, that's what it'll be called, is that there are no lines. That would be awesome. That is awesome. I mean, I love roller coasters and that sounds wonderful. <laughs> hey, have you got a letter, Kellen? I sure do. This one is from Keith. He lives in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ooh, got a tricky one. Ah. 
<clears throat> Dear Kellen, one of my favorite things to do is play video games with my friends. Every Friday night, my friends and I go to one of our houses or apartments or whatever, and we order pizza and we play video games. And I'm talking all kinds of video games, racing games, side scrollers, adventure games, open world builders, even classics like Pac-Man and Pong. It's my favorite place to be, surrounded by people I love, games I like to play, and food I like to eat. What could be better than that? Wow, who knew mail could be so much fun? I'm gonna go have to check my mailbox later. No kidding. It's really cool to see into other people's imaginations. What did that have to do with the book of Revelation? I'm glad you asked. The book of Revelation was written by one of Jesus' disciples named John. It was written long after Jesus died and rose again, when John was an old man. God gave John a vision of the future, so John wrote it all down. No kidding. So what's heaven going to be like? Is it going to be like what we read in these letters? Yeah. Will there be flowers and roller coasters? Uh, and pizza? Oh, please tell me there will be pizza in heaven. Um, I have a confession to make. I don't really have all the answers to your questions. God only gave John a glimpse into the future. He didn't fill in every single detail, but maybe if you close your eyes and listen to what John wrote, you'll be able to picture a little bit of it. In his vision, John saw a new heaven and a new earth, and he heard a voice. The voice said, look, God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, and there will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Things are no longer the way they used to be. And John saw God himself sitting on a great white throne. And God said, I am making everything new. Wow. Yeah, that's better than pizza. Huh. Way better. No more sadness. No more pain. Everything that's old will be made new. Can you even imagine? I really can't. Yeah, it's like it's, like it's better than I can even imagine. Exactly. Even though we don't know every single detail about the future or about heaven, we do know that our amazing, creative, powerful, and loving God has a plan that will blow our mind. Oh man, we have got a lot to look forward to. No doubt. Thanks, Kellen. Yes, indeed. Keep in touch, fellas. Hey, I'll send you a letter. <laughs> ah, now where do I keep my stamps? I don't know. Okay. Reveal the question. Ah, oh, what do you think heaven will be like? Ooh. Yeah, do you imagine lots of clouds, harps, streets of gold? Will there be pizza involved? Talk about it together. What do you think heaven will be like? And maybe it'll be like going to my stand-up routine. Do you think there's some comedy in heaven? If you're gonna be there, there will have to be. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Wait, were you being nice or mean just then? We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. See ya. What's well, black and white and red all over? Sunburn penguin! <laughs> this is my mom waking me up when I'm late for school. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wake up, you're late for school! <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what my favorite breakfast cereal is? Any cereal! All right, here we go. How about this one? I got a better one for you, are you all right? Um, one fish, two fish. <laughs> 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 Awesome. Well, such a good video. So, so much good. fun. Yeah, we loved hearing from David talking to good us. Good job, David. Well yeah. done. And then always a good laugh on so and so oh, no. show. Yep. And before we go, um, quick reminder that if you're not already signed up for the summer party minis, make sure you do that. We'd love to see you. It's going to be super fun. We cannot wait to hang out with all our Horizon Kids friends, old and new, and um, just have so much fun playing games and getting to know each other and having some fun together. So yeah. get and registered. It's not tomorrow, but tomorrow's tomorrow is the first summer party mini. First summer party mini. It's getting real close. I'm so excited. So get registered. Okay. Before we finish up, We've got a few questions for you guys to talk about. You can talk about it at the dinner table or in the car ride or wherever you are with your family. 
and just keep the conversation rolling. Keep talking yeah. about faith, keep talking about how it applies to your life. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want me to do the first question? Sure. So question one is what would it be like not to have any sadness, pain, or anything bad happen to you? Mm. Mm. Interesting question. Yeah. Yeah, and the next question is what else do you think heaven will have or not have? Great discussion to have with the family. Yeah. What do you think heaven is going to have? What do you think it won't have? All those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. So the third question is what part of heaven do you hope for the most? Awesome. And the last question, is there anything about heaven that makes you a little bit nervous? Mm. Mm. Good Some question. really good discussion yeah. points for you guys to take with you and keep that, keep that conversation going. We will see you next Sunday on the vlog when well, we'll be starting our new theme of the well, month. And we'll have probably some little video for you yeah. from our first summer party mini. Can't wait. So good. Have a great week, guys. And see we'll you see you if you're coming at the Summer Party Mini. Bye. Bye.